Joint Task Force 2, also known as JTF2, are an elite special operations force of the Canadian Armed Forces, serving under the Canadian Special Operations Forces Command. JTF2 is known to work with other special operations forces such as Delta Force, SEAL Team 6, the British SAS, and the British SBS. This unit is so elite as to distinguish itself as a world-class Tier 1 special operations unit. And for those of you who don't understand what that means, oh, I'm going to tell you what it means. They're basically just as good as one another. They all just represent different countries. JTF2 serves as Canadian Special Operations centerpiece. And just like Delta Force, JTF2's primary task is counterterrorism operations. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever heard of JTF2 before and are they better than Delta Force? They're not. So let's say, are they better than SEAL Team 6? Let's go ahead and send it. Okay, we're looking at our operator. What do we do first? Actually, it's kind of hot. He's got a red shirt on. It's ready for Canada. This is definitely going to be awesome Canada build. Identity. What are we going to name our guy? Very important question of the day. So we're just going to name him Ike. <laughs> It just makes sense. I had to do something. I'm trying to make it fucking entertaining, okay? Call sign. JTF. Can I do the two? Fuck, I can't. All right. We'll just do JTF. We're getting the two part, but you know, <laughs> it's fine. What is a Canadian appearance? You know what? We'll do male five. No, I feel like it's fucked up. We never use male five for anybody. Okay. I don't want to do this no more. So male two for Ike, the Canadian JTF2 operator. Let's go. Facial hair, none. Why? Because in Canada, bro. They don't do the whole facial hair thing as much as we do, I think. Patches. All right. We're just going to focus on the body armor. On the chest, what are we doing? Canada flag. Let's go. Left arm, debatable. You know what? On the left and the right arms, let's go ahead and do just like, oh, wait. Fuck, that's the chest. The left and the right arms, I'm thinking let's just do like some skull and crossbones because, you know, you don't want to push Canada to the edge because they've like avoided every fucking like big war. So like, you don't want that fucking heat, my guy. Time for the outfit. All right. I wear none. Next, we're going to do mask. Maybe, actually. You know what? We'll have to come back to that. But for now, none. Top. This is where things are going to get a little interesting. So, you have to remember this is a tier one unit. So, they're going to rock combat tops. I'm thinking the combat shirt rolled is probably what we're going to go with. Now, in camouflage, it's going to get a little weird because originally, Canada's military uses CADPAT, which stands for Canadian Disruptive Pattern. That is not an option, and the camouflage pattern is actually super, super dark. But they do rock OCP. So, we're going to rock OCP. Now, for pants, this is a tier one unit. We are going to use combat pants and we are going to make those OCP as well. Next for footwear, I'm thinking we're going to do hiking shoes because they're like the cool guys, right? So we got to throw the Merrells on them. Of course. Now for gloves, we're going to go, with, you know, let's do assault gloves. Oh my God, bro. Jesus Christ. Choke me with those daddy mommy gloves, bro. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll do khaki. We'll do khaki gloves for him because he got the hot knuckles on there. So can fucking punch you in the fuck. Now, you know what? These are cool guys, so we're going to give them a schmegma. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dang, he already looking so delicious. Oh, my fucking God. He's been under so much stress, so you can tell his hairline's kind of receded. It's a little fun. But whatever, he's fine. He'll get over it. You have to remember this is a tier one unit, so they have all the best stuff. However, instead of giving them a regular bump helmet, we're going to give them a airframe helmet with cover. And we're going to put it on OCP. Dang, he got all the good ass Bro, he already got all the goodies. He ain't got no face. That shit gone. But we're actually going to take off the nods. We are going to keep on the Peltors, and we're going to keep the IR strobe. Next, the plate carrier. If I'm being honest, all the tier one operators are either going to rock like micro chest rigs or you're going to rock the cry JPC. So we're going to go super slick with these guys because we're going to put a lot of stuff on our battle belt. So we're going to use the cry JPC. What do we want to give Mr. Operator Man? Primary ammo. Primary ammo. Primary ammo. Let's go. You know what? Like I said, a super minimalist loadout. But you know what we are going to give these guys as well? We're going to put a motherfucking breaching charge on his back. Why? This is a counter-terrorism direct action unit. So, they're going to be like, I open that sh And then they're going to place that charge. And, be like, bah! and then they're going to come in and go, do, do, do. it's a wrap, bro. You're done. Dude, and he looks super hot with the fucking Canada flag. Dude, did you guys know I'm Canadian and from Canada? I was born and raised in Canada. I'm just kidding. Bro, what if I was? Would that be weird? Would that be a mind f little bit. Next, let's go ahead and run the belt. We're going to give him a gun belt. And what are we going to put on that gun belt, you might ask? Let me show you. He is going to be carrying a secondary weapon. So we're going to put some secondary ammo on here. Then what do we also want to give him? Flashbangs and grenades. We'll give him two frag grenades and we'll give him one flashbang. Oh, shit. Boy, look at him. JTF2 going in on your bitch, bro. Hajo God damn. Totally forgot the holster, but holster's there, and we are definitely going to do the holster in OCP. Moving on. So the Canadian military and the JTF have been known to use the M17, also known as the P320. This hook right here. So we're going to pick the M17, then we're going to build it out. So let's go ahead and put a tack light on it. Then we're going to put a Dr. 2 flat on there. Ooh, bro. She looking real 
fucking nice, baby. We are not going to put a suppressor on it, and we'll do a 20-round magazine. Why? Because bullets to fuck your bitch asses up. And now your favorite thing of all time, the primary weapon systems build. I will give y'all five seconds to guess what the primary weapon system is. Five, four, three, two, nine, ten, one, zero. I don't really know if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> so if you guys remember our SAS operator build about Chris Craighead, who's a savage. Their primary weapon systems were stuff like the C7, the C8, and all these different variant weapon systems, right? It's actually the same thing with JTF2. And I do have an interesting build off of their primary weapon systems for some of the direct action stuff that they are using. But what we're going to use is the HK416 CQB. Now, how would this build be different, might you ask? Let me show you. We're going to put the PEC-15 on the top of the weapon system. Then, right next to it, we're going to put a EOTech EXPS 3.0 in FDE. Kind of similar to some of the other builds, right? This is where it changes up just just a little bit, and some of y'all are going to be like, hey, what the f***? So I was looking at some of the JTF2 range videos, and I definitely noticed a lot of them were rocking angled foregrips. So we're going to rock a FDE angled grip. Ooh, bro, look at this. God dang. And then next we have a suppressor, but guess what? Not a whole lot of them were using suppressors, which kind of threw me for a loop. Now, no, I'm not saying they never use suppressors, but just off of some of the footage that I saw, I was like, you know what? No suppressor. This is what's going to blow your mind. On some of the footage that I saw, they were using regular metal stand mags. Oh! What the f*** is that sh you know what? I don't make the rules, but this is what they did, and they're a tier one unit. So basically, you put anything in their hands, it's a weapon. Now, what do we name our primary weapon system build, though? Can of booty! Let's go! Because they're about to get in your booty at. All right, so let's go ahead and run over here to the range. This thing looks super hot. I'm not going to lie. It looks really good with the forget. Look. Ooh. Oh, and we have a secondary weapon system. So now, we well, hear me. Okay, now let's go ahead and transition to the secondary. It looks good. It looks it looks okay. Time for the JTF2 mission. Let's go ahead and send it. Operation Godless Polamemic. What the f***? Pole mic? Operation Godless Pole mic. That sounds terrible. It's like we're going into a f***ing strip club. Now, due to the JTF2 skill set, this is going to be a close quarters CQB mission. We have to locate and eliminate all threats in the area. The enemy concentration is on the ground floor, but if you look at the map, this is a two to three story building with roof access. We can enter at the garage on the Delta 5, or we can enter on the roof on the Lima 7. Now, just to get things rolling, we're going to go into the garage. Let's go ahead and send it. We got, like, roofs and buildings. Right there. Oh my god, dude. This is such a bad start. I killed two dudes already with my rate of fire, though. You know what? The JTF dudes wouldn't stop moving, though. They're hot. They just assault through. Oh, sh My mouse got stuck. What the fuck? So, these dudes are fucking the best of the best of the best, so they just move. So, that's one dead motherfucker. Let's go. We moving? We moving? We moving, bro? Dude, they just are able to see and, and, and drop bodies like that? Oh. I see enemy! Oh my god, dude. Okay, there's a lot of bad dudes here, and I wasn't ready. And they just keep moving. Over here. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no support by fire, no nothing, bro. All right, all right wait, wait, wait. We're going we to try the garage again, but we're going to maneuver east immediately and not go through that, like... Okay, 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 okay. Y'all chill. Everybody <laughs> sure, chill out. Oh my god, look at that. They, they're on that John Wick sh bro. They just moving. Okay. He's losing. Oh, this bitch is running. No. I see enemy. He's dead as f. Alright, we're we're still going. Oh, I think I see a bit. He ate a fing headshot. This motherfucker. Now we're gonna go ahead and do one last reload, and then now I'm gonna transition to my Over primary. Here. What? What? Holy sh. Oh, it's gonna get nasty. It's gonna get nasty as fuck up in this fucking shit. Okay, I gotta finish clearing. Oh, through the fucking door! Let's go! I'm the best, bitch. JTF2 for life, huh? Over oh, we ain't got time for you, bitch. Go, 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 go. This one is it! Shh. Get this grenade. Yeah, yeah, you like that? You like that? Shit. Bet you don't. You dead? Please be dead. Oh my god. I did not check that corner at all. Holy sh**. Dude, this dude's moving his ass hole. What? Go ahead and move upstairs really quick. We're going to get a full reload. All right, there's only two fucking motherfuckers left. If I die, I'm going to be pissed as shit. Over here. You doing that shit, bro? Okay. He's one of them. 
Bet. We're moving. Let's go. Where you at? Oh, yeah, let's go. Bro, that was hot. You know what? Let's do it one more time. We can do a, a roof insert. That'll be kind of hot. They wouldn't even fuck around with the outside, I don't think. They'd just be like, we're going to fucking bust in this fucking door and go out. These motherfuckers, let's get it. They just immediately to a speed run in the fucking building. Beautiful, beautiful. Over here. We need the backup. They're shooting straight across into this shit. I I'm not them. 